My name's Simon Hinckley. I'm one of the collection managers for terrestrial invertebrates here at Melbourne Museum. This here is another of my favourite drawers here in the, the Melbourne Museum Entomology Collections. It contains the Lord Howe Island stick insect. This is a really nice story of a species that's come back from being declared extinct. So the stick insect itself used to be called things like the walking sausage or the locals used to call it the, uh, the land lobster because as you can see it sort of looks quite primitive and, and chunky. When rats were accidentally introduced to Lord Howe Island in 1918, they basically found a smorgasbord of things that didn't really know how to protect themselves like this stick insect. So the rats just went crazy and basically wiped them out on Lord Howe Island. In this drawer here you can see we have uh, four specimens from Lord Howe Island. Two males, which have the larger hind legs, and two females, who generally have the larger abdomens. The reason for the larger abdomen is the females obviously have to do things like egg production, so they have a more complex sort of system and a larger abdomen. This species was thought to be extinct until 2001, when a very small population was found on Bowles Pyramid, which is a sea stack about 23 kilometres away from Lord Howe Island. Melbourne Zoo were given a pair called Adam and Eve, to look after and try to raise. Eve was initially very unwell, but the staff did an amazing job in keeping her alive. She went on to lay 248 eggs. And what Melbourne Zoo have done is they have given uh, captive populations to other institutions to ensure that the species is safe if something happens to their colony. So for example, here at the Melbourne Museum in the live exhibits department, we have a colony of Lord Howe Island stick insects. And you can see this smaller sub-adult here at top right is a specimen from that collection. We're still hoping eventually to put this species back on Lord Howe Island. Obviously that's gonna involve things like rat control. It's a really nice story to get this sort of iconic Australian species back from what was thought to be extinction.